And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Boilermakers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Got a man, they knocked it loose. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Get out, get out. Here I go. Let's go. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 32-yard line, third down. He wants it all going long, and that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Not much there on that opening drive. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Brought down at the 38-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38. Complete. He's got room. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Black five, black five. Back, 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 back. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. away here on second down. He's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 36. That's a loss of six yards. That brings up third and ten. just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Red two. Red two. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, first down. Oh. 
Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number 24 breaks it up. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Hit. Black five, motion, black motion, five. Motion. Blue four. Motion, motion. Here go. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. Call it a loss of six yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Head two. Head As a man, he'll lose big yards. That was a loss of nine on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Wisconsin could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's wide right. No good. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. On the ground with the tailback. The defense has it. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll bring up second and 12. From the 39-yard line, second down. Quick throw to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Slings it. There he goes. It's away from him. Touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 37-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Wisconsin's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Wow. And they make the stop at the 46. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Pass 
passes left, going the other way. And he's level at the 36-yard line. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. Wisconsin is up by a touchdown. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. Played one. Wisconsin leads 7 0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Green 9, green 9. Go! Pass, pass, pass. They'll bring him down at the 43 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. And down he goes around the 46-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. He's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. Throws it out there. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. This secondary better tighten it up. They're going to slow down this drive. This is the eighth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Wisconsin is up a score. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 13. Tenth play of the drive. saw something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive and he tacks on the extra point so a nine play 64 yard drive and they come away with seven points Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense he just drills this one and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Second 
Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. He fights forward to about the 20. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Hey, two, X, seven. Hold it. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. Red two, easy, easy. Blitz. He's taken down at the 49 yard line. That's good for three yards. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? <laughs> Scrambling around. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. That's a deal of play. That makes it first and 10. From the 36-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. He's tackling at the 30. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. He's going to try and scramble. He's on the run. Tackle made at about the 15-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's two second times, and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. He's scrambling. Nice play to set up first and goal. Rally! 
Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Tackled after decent pickup. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. He gets it up, and it is good. So we've played two quarters. Wisconsin leads 14-3. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. We're about set to start things up again. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the 36. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He scrambles. They'll make the sack. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Scrambling around, runs with it, and he's got room. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. What are you doing? Oh, come on, man! It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 40. Here we go! Right on. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. I got one, I got one. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. On the ground, left side. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and seven.
I got you. I got you. And he's taken down around the 21-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 21-yard line, first down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Here's the eighth play of the series. scrambling they'll bring him down at about the 17 yard line we're at play number nine of this current drive He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes, right around the 12-yard line. He scrambles and picks up five. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Really big boost for this offense, picking up that fourth down conversion. The running play was very well designed. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59, Mike is 59. <laughs> Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. It's second and goal. Eight yards out. throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Purdue kicked this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Wisconsin up by eight. Completes it across the middle. And he's level at the 37. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Just throws this one away. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Now he tries to buy some time. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. From their own 32-yard line, third down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Dog four. Green nine. Motion, motion, motion. 
and he is drilled at the 25. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Wisconsin's up by eight. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he's tackled at the 48. Makes the tackle. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. 86 to man, 86 to man. Watch me. He's tired of me. Let's go. He's, tired of us. He's scrambling. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Here we go. He's on the run. He's at the 30. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. Game in 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. What? What From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Fires it again to his tight end. He's taken down at the 14. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker's blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Ready! Black 55! Quick throw. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Number 12 with the tackle. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Touchdown, Boilermakers! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for, an opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Big, big conversion right here. Time is running out, and they need this one to tie it up. They don't get it. Caught it, and the conversion is good. Those guys just came through with probably the biggest play of the game. They had to get the conversion, and they got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. He fights forward to about the 26. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Down around the 26 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's going to go for the home run. And that's his receiver who's wide open. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. This 
guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he tacks on the extra point. Wisconsin ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He's tackled the 37 yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. Just over two minutes in the game. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 48. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop at the 42. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second in inches. Defense wins championships, baby. Check 59. Right in. Mike is 59. 59, fill in. Caught, and that's a first down. Tackle around the 37 yard line. That's good for a First and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out and block it. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. Purdue's going to take their first time out of the half. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Pressure coming. Looking for his man, incomplete. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. You can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. We have less than a minute to go. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He 
go down to one knee. This one's in the books in our final score, 21-14, Badgers. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.